In this episode of New Jersey Living, the podcast, we are continuing the food theme that you've probably taken notice of over the past two episodes with both Casey Webb being here two weeks ago and Chef David Burke being here last week. So we're going to continue with this food theme because we have a very significant event coming up in late April, and we're going to dive into the details in just a few minutes. But be sure to stay tuned because this is some insights you're going to want to stay uh, really attend to because if you are a food person like I am, you'll want to have this information because there's going to be some options, some locations, some events that you likely would want to attend. Uh, this is about a month out because we're late March right now, so you have plenty time, plenty of time to plan accordingly. All right, so stay tuned and dialed in, and let's dive into it now. Welcome to New Jersey Living, the podcast, where we explore all things New Jersey real estate. I'm your host, Corey Jones, a real estate agent with Coldwell Banker and a team leader of the New Jersey Living Group. We're a team of experienced agents who specialize in residential sales in several counties ranging from Bergen County in northern New Jersey to Ocean County down the shore. On this podcast, we will talk to real estate experts, local business owners, community leaders, and town officials to get the inside scoop various towns in New Jersey. We'll discuss everything from the latest market trends to featured local attractions with dining, recreation, and entertainment. Whether you're a current resident, a prospective buyer, or just curious about New Jersey real estate, we have something for you. So sit back, relax, and join us for a conversation about all things New Jersey living. Welcome to New Jersey Living, the podcast. I'm Corey Jones, podcast host, realtor with Coldwell Banker, host of New Jersey Living, the YouTube channel as well. So if you are interested in learning all things New Jersey, be sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell to stay updated on insights with the real estate market, but all things, including the dining scene, which we're going to dive into now, so social and entertainment events, iconic locations. We cover all those things on this channel, and we also obviously have the YouTube channel as well. So today... I have with me another special guest in the food world here in New Jersey. I want to welcome Jim Flynn, who is founder and CEO of, I want to make sure I get that title correct, uh, Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore Restaurant Week. Jersey Shore Restaurant Week. And that is coming up the first date. What's the first date this year, Jim? Uh, the Restaurant Week starts April the 19th. All right, April the 19th. All right, fantastic. So this is the 15th. Uh, year anniversary, right, yep. for Restaurant Week. And I, I just want to first, we're going to first just have a conversation with Jim, just get a little bit of uh, kind of the history of Restaurant Week, where it began, how, what was the story behind that? And obviously now we're 15 years in, and what are we looking at with some of the special events for this year? Well, we, we started uh, 15 years ago. Um, the concept of Restaurant Week actually started in New York City. And it uh, was founded by Tim Zagat. You remember okay, the, yeah, Zagat uh, ratings. Zagat yeah. ratings and so forth. Um, and from there, from New York City, it spread all across the country to pretty much most major cities. Okay. Um, back in 2009, I, was, I, I also have a travel company, and I was on a trip up to Martha's Vineyard and going up 95, and I saw a sign that said, New Haven Restaurant Week. And it was the first time I had seen a restaurant week outside of a major city. Okay. And so I immediately called my wife and I said, Google it and see if uh, there's a Jersey Shore restaurant week. And there wasn't. So I said, by the name. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, when I got back from my trip, I put together a, a group of volunteers and we, uh, we did our first restaurant week in November of 2009. 2009. Okay. All right. And... At that time, um, did you have a lot of restaurants uh, that, or to start with just maybe primarily one or one location? How did that begin when you first started? <laughs> well, we, we actually just went out and, and knocked on doors and, and okay. told people what the concept was, which was essentially um, to offer a three-course uh, meal, pre pre prefix meal, uh, with three choices in each category. So three appetizers, three entree, and okay. three dessert choices at a set price. So the and the price would be a value, a real value to the consumer, um, and I think the first year we had um, about thirty five restaurants participate. Okay, um, and it got up to one hundred and ten uh, pre pandemic, and right now we're at about seventy five. So we're we're coming back. 
Um, it's taken a little longer to get back from the pandemic than I thought, but uh, you know, a lot of a lot of restaurants um, lost people permanently. Right. They right. got out of the business, um, and others just had a hard time to replenish their staff. Um, so it it became a difficult kind of thing for people. But we're we're now seeing more and more restaurants coming back online. So. We're optimistic for the future. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen a rebound of many uh, businesses now that we're starting to get really out of that pandemic, you know, season. Uh, those that are uh, been able to sustain and and be on that path to recovery, seeing a little bit more of that. Um, in regard to locations, um, Jersey Shore, obviously, we're we're talking Monmouth County, I guess, all the way down to the Ocean Co- uh, County. How, yeah, how- we start with the northernmost part. Um, is Keyport. Okay. And it goes, I guess it's 40 some miles south to um, Seaside Park. Okay. Okay. Got it. So for this year, and we talked a little bit prior to uh, us going live with the recording here um, about a couple of the highlight events uh, that are coming up. So can you talk a little bit about what uh, what are some of these key events that somebody wants to tune into this, hasn't been uh, attending in the past? Uh, what some of those events they want, want may want to attend this year? Well, well, we do different events in the spring and in the fall, but okay. we, we try, we do probably three to four special events, um, each in, in April and in November. Um, in the spring, uh, this year, we're starting off with, uh, the chef's invitational and we invite, um, about 15 top Jersey shore restaurants to come and cook a signature dish, sample size and so forth. Okay. And it's a walk around event. Um, the the consumer gets to taste all of these different um, signature events. We have a uh, an inter- international wine bar and uh, live music. Live music this time is going to be um, Zach Alexander, who uh, uh, sings the uh, Sinatra st- S- Sinatra and Bobby Darin and Tony okay. Bennett and those kinds. Of okay. Things. Um, and then on Saturday, April the twentieth. Um, we have the Great Jersey Shore Barber, uh, uh, Burger Contest, which is a competition uh, among restaurants for the title, the best burger at the Jersey Shore. Um, and again, uh, they provide uh, sample sizes, and it's a walk-around event, and people get to taste all of them and, mm-hmm. and uh, vote for their favorite. Um, and then we also have a craft beer bar for them to take advantage of, and uh, also live music, which uh, this time is uh, Pennington Station. Okay. Um, and then on Sunday the 28th, we have a, an event called uh, Summer of 24, a rosé day. And it's a tasting of different styles of rosé from around the world. Um, and we have a uh, 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 cheese bar and, and uh, charcuterie bar by Molly Boards um, and live music by Turnpike Mike. And okay. all of those... Uh, all of those um, Events have uh, you can buy tickets online at JerseyShoreRestaurantWeek.com. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to ask because these are all ticketed. The, the ones we're referring to right yep. now are ticketed events, yep. right? Okay, all right. Um, and we're spanning out roughly for both the fall and the spring time frame is about a week, two weeks. Yeah, it's about ten days. Um, okay, we 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 plan both of the restaurant weeks at times that are generally slow for the restaurant business. Okay. Um, so April is, um, you know, before the season starts and kind of the end of the winter. So it's a slow time for restaurants. So d- restaurant week gives them a real shot in the arm for business. And the same for November. Um, the, the summer and the fall are over. We're starting into winter. So it's a, another kind of slow period for the restaurant. So again, it gives them a shot in the arm. Got it, got it. And with the, um, I know you have chefs that are involved. Is it something that you had to, uh, I would imagine, actively recruit at the beginning? Or do you have people reaching out to you now? Or how does that well, collaboration you're, work? You're, you're absolutely right. At the beginning, we just had to knock on doors and yeah. and convince people that this was a good promotion for them. And mm. and when you think about it, we charge them a fee to promote the whole event. Okay. And, and the fee works out to about $35 a day. So it's really, really hard for them to get any other kind of promotional activity for only thirty dollars. Oh yes, a for day. sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and it's it's proven over the years that uh, a the consumer loves it and and b the restaurants like it because they get extra business out of it. 
Absolutely. Um, so yeah, it works out really well that way. Yes, yes, as for sure. So um, with the fall event, uh, pretty much same locations and restaurants, or does it, anything vary with uh, the yeah, two seasons? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much um, same uh, restaurants participate. Okay. Um, in the fall, we do a um, a thing called the uh, Dream Dinner, and we invite five chefs to each come and cook a course. It's a sit down event. Um, and each course is paired with wines and also live music. Um, we do uh, the uh, Great Jersey Shore Martini Contest, mm. uh, where uh, area bars come and, and their and their bartenders um, make a concoction, and the mm. consumer goes around and tastes them all. Okay, it's a small glass, so they <laughs> so they yeah. can go and do it. Yeah, um, and and again they vote on it and so forth, and then. Uh, this fall, we're going to do a new event called the Crab Fest, and we're, it's going to oh, be nice. uh, um, people come and we spread newspapers on tables, yeah. and you get crabs, and you drink cold beer and 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 cold wine, and just have yes. a good afternoon. Yes, that's that's uh, that brings back memory. I'm originally from Virginia, uh-huh. right? So uh, growing up uh, in a tidewater area, um, I mean, we would just go crab ourselves. Crab was like you know even a local creek. You didn't yeah. have to go down to a big body of water per se. Um, and it's it's not as um, prolific in this area, but um, nonetheless, when you have an opportunity to have some crab, it catches my attention. Um, so, Jersey Shore has its own version. Are there any other restaurant? Week? I don't, I'm not aware of any other restaurant weeks in the state. Are, are you all the only ones? No, there, there are. Um, there's one in Atlantic City. Okay. Um, there's one in the Cape May area. Okay. Um, I think Montclair might have one. I think Morristown has one. Okay. Um, but all in kind of various sizes. Yes. Most of them, I think, do it once a year. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. So for this one, you gave the website. I want to make sure I give that a plug as well. If they, if anyone wants information or to reserve tickets, they can go. I'm going to post this website up here as well for those who are viewing. So it's JerseyShoreRestaurantWeek.com. Okay. All right. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, we are going to record. So those who do watch um, the channel on on YouTube, we're going to be on site. I don't know specifically which event we're going to attend quite yet, but obviously I'm going to announce that in advance uh, before we go down there to film, just so we get a good fi- feel for um, the event itself. Give some video footage, and um, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, Jim, you'll be on site somewhere. I would mm-hmm. imagine, right, yep. for for each event. So yep. we'll uh, look to uh, connect with uh, Jim while we're down there, and you know, get to. Uh, I, I'm not sure if uh, either of our previous two guests, both Casey Webb and uh, Chef Burke, would be. Uh, they mentioned it to me. That's how I knew to. Uh, reach out and try and get a connection with you. Um, but do they typically, uh, have they had any past um, activity there, either Casey or Chef Burke? Um, Chef Burke has three restaurants in uh, that participate in Restaurant Week. And he's he's a, he's a great guy to work with. He's he's always available to, to do things with us. And yeah. Um, so yeah, they participate very well. Casey, I don't know. I, I know okay. That. So Casey, um, and Casey, I didn't know Casey by name. I had only known the show, a man versus food on formerly food network, but now cooking channel. Okay. Um, so that show, um, I, my family grew up watching it, uh, my kids and, and my, my wife, uh, and then they had a reboot of the show because it stopped airing at one point. But Casey, who is a New Jersey native, I didn't know. Uh, that fact um, is the uh, the new host uh, for the show. Oh, okay. Right. So uh, had him up here, and um, yeah, we were just talking through some food uh, like you and I are doing now. So um, Chef Burke was the following week, and he referred specifically to the event. Uh, so definitely something. I'm, I'm a, certainly a, a fan of food and fan of quality food. So it's something that I uh, I felt that we as a as a group would participate in and come and get some film footage because anytime that we can promote anything, New Jersey, I want to try to yep. support local business. All right. So, um, so yeah, we will certainly de- be there, uh, on site. Um, the fall event is that typically what's, what's that time frame? Is it an October kind of time? Yeah, frame? It's actually November. The, it okay. starts the first Friday in November and goes for 10 days. Okay. Okay. Cause I know you said there's like that typical slowdown time. So yep. that probably is like that early November right. time frame. Yep. Got it. Got it. All right. Um, just off the top of your head, are there any, and I know, you know, you're chair, so it may be uh, hard to say, but are there some favorite either events or 
locations that you've kind of taken favor to over the years? Anything that stands out? Um, you know, the, the interesting thing is that um, R- Restaurant Week provides an opportunity for the consumer to try new restaurants that they may yeah. not have been to before. Right. Um, in fact, almost 90% of the, when we do follow-up surveys, almost 90% of the consumers tell us they try a new restaurant during restaurant. Oh, week. nice. And nice. they and they dine out 50% more than a normal week during right. restaurant week. Right. And so it's an opportunity for them to try new restaurants and try restaurants that maybe they thought were too expensive for them, but they get to come to our events or they get to to um, participate in in uh, in restaurant week and it gives them an opportunity to to find something new and and right. then hopefully go back again. Right. Um, and so th- that's a, a great thing for the consumer, but it's also a great thing for the restaurant because they get to reach people that they never saw before. And all of a sudden they become a new customer. So right. it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Oh, it is. It is. No doubt about it. And background wise, I mean, did you, I know you said you have a, a travel business mm-hmm. as well. Did you have a food background per se, or is just something when, like you were mentioning, you were on the road and you saw that and it just sparked a, yeah, a thought? Yeah, I, I, um, I love food. Um, I always have been a foodie my whole life. It's funny, I was telling somebody one time, back when I was in the corporate world and living in the Midwest, Playboy used to put out a top 20 restaurants in the country. Okay. And I was traveling all the time. Uh, around the country, and and at one point, I think I got to fifteen of the twenty okay. in in a year. So, food food and wine has always been kind of a hobby for me. Um, and my my background is marketing, so this whole thing kind of fit perfectly. You know, when we realized that there was no restaurant week at, at the shore, right? Um, it, it it was a void that we thought we could fill easily. So. Yes, yes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, um, again, we are looking forward to the spring event specifically. New Jersey Living will be there on site. We just will have to determine what that day will be. Uh, once we have that, we'll announce and be prepared for some of the footage down there. I'm, I'm leaning towards the burger competition right now, but I'll be in touch with you, Jim, to kind of narrow down how we want to best uh, lay out logistically the, the map of uh, the time that we're down there. So if you are a fan of food or definitely if you are down the shore, my shore viewers, uh, we are going to be viewing, I mean, I'm sorry, viewing, filming in Spring Lake pretty soon. So I may, in fact, what I'm now thinking about it, Jim, I may try to do something um, that coincides with the Spring Lake uh, episode because we do have a a schedule uh, to visit Spring Lake in the next few weeks. So maybe I'll try to orient it, uh, coordinate those together. Um, so if you are uh, northern Jersey, it's worth a visit. And the thing is, Jim, everybody visits the shore, I feel, anyway, at some yeah. point, right? So well, it, it's interesting. Uh, and again, in our follow-up research, um, 18% of the people that, that come and participate in Restaurant Week are from outside the shore. So right. they're from New York and yeah. Connecticut and, uh, and places like uh, out at Princeton and so forth. Right. So, um People, people from other areas like to come down and spend a few days and enjoy the restaurants. So. Yes, uh, absolutely, absolutely, I and mean, that's that's my experience of being, um, you know, more northern New Jersey where I, where I live. Uh, you know, everybody does have an experience that they, you know, take an excursion down to the shore at some point. Uh, so this is certainly an event that you don't want to miss. Um, we're going to flash the website up again one more time. You can order your ticket. Now, the, with the ticket, I'm going to ask, um, just because I'm thinking about what some people who have not done this before uh, may uh, be curious about. Are the tickets uh, for one given restaurant or is it uh, for a specific event? How do um, the ticketing and the purchase of that work? I don't know if there's multiple day, one day, one location. So, yeah, so the the the. Uh, reservations and tickets for the individual restaurants are done through the individual restaurant. Okay. Um, and the, and the um, three-course menus are either $32, which are for kind of um, casual pub-style uh, restaurants, or $42, which are for more fine dining restaurants. Okay. But again, you would use the, the restaurant's own reservation system okay. to, to make those reservations. Um, the the special event tickets are available on our website, um, and most of those events are in the sixty to sixty five dollar range. Okay, and that would be uh, like the burger exactly. event. That would be that. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, all right. So uh, and and now that I'm thinking about it, do they have uh, if we go to the website, 
Uh, does it give me the restaurant names or yep. locations? So and all could... of the restaurants that participate are on our website, mm. and uh, we post their restaurant week menus as well. Oh, nice. Okay. So, uh, and then there's also a link to their reservation system. Okay. All right. Well, everything is set up for you when you go to the website, uh, apparently. So this is something definitely to book on your calendar, take a look at it. I, everybody typically makes their uh, shore visit schedule from my area more about, you know, May, <laughs> June, July. Uh, but you'll want to, you know, take notice of what your calendar looks like late April uh, to take an opportunity to go down, support local business and have a good time and some good food. So I want to thank Jim. Appreciate you coming out again. To, Thanks for uh, having me. Yes, absolutely, to be able to uh, provide those insights and your experiences. Uh, those who are watching, again, be sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell. We have some more great content coming your way. We're going to be diving back into real estate market again for our next episode. We've been three consecutive episodes, Jim, on food, right? <laughs> so for a real estate uh, podcast, uh, which we do uh, address a diverse of um, a diverse array of of issues and topics. We're not strictly real estate, but we'll be diving back into the market next week. So between now and then, be sure to again click like, subscribe, notification bell, stay safe, and stay tuned to New Jersey Living. I'll see you next week.